Tum, tum, tum. I swear on me, amigo. It's the thrill ride to end all thrill rides. Where it is, your hair will uncurl and you'll puke your guts out. Wow, cool. Gee, Spellman has that same effect on me. <laughs> <laughs> Purpose, somehow. Moi? But I'm way over here. Oh, this darn locker's stuck again. <laughs> when mine sticks, I call my personal locksmith. Oh, that's right. You don't have one. Some of us think it's better to use our brains. <laughs> oh, that's right. You don't have one. <sighs> Okay, okay. You win today's put-down round. Whew, I sure wish you and Jim would try a little harder to get along. Not gonna happen, Chloe. We're just too different. She's nasty, spoiled, and rich. I'm sweet, charming, and a witch. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Hey, nobody's perfect. So what about this new thrill ride at Wow World? Maybe we ought to check it out. I already am. Tomorrow after school with Pie. Hey, maybe you should ask Harvey. We can all go together. Now that's a killer idea. Not if I ask him first. Ah! 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 I'll get you for this! Oh. <laughs> this is the most useful gadget Daddy's ever bought me. Sabrina? What happened? It's, um... My salute to spring. Uh, listen, Harvey, how'd you like to go try out that new ride at Wowie World tomorrow? Cool. I'd love to go, Sabrina. Great. Uh, except Jem already asked me. Huh? I guess you could come, too, but, well, you and Jem don't exactly, uh, get along. <laughs> Sorry. Consider using some conditioner before going on a date, Sabrina. Oh, that's right. You don't have one. And that's the 85th crummy thing she's done to me. The minute I become a full-fledged witch, I swear I'm turning her into a beanbag for life. A beanbag? Great. That cat bed is for the birds. Hmm. Now there's a tasty idea. Breakfast in bed. You know, Sabrina, there is another way to deal with this. Why not use the opposite approach? Take the high road. You mean leave town? I mean, make friends with Jem. Sure. And after that, why not a little pinochle with Attila the Hun? I don't think so, Aunt Zelda. We're just too different. Trust me. Just try it. Think of something that'll bring the two of you closer together. When people put aside their differences, they can do remarkable things. That's true. Remember the Wright brothers, Zelda? Those guys couldn't stand each other until I helped them patch things up. You mean you put a spell on them to bring them together? Not exactly. They finally buried the hatchet because they both couldn't stand Hilda. Every time they'd ride their bikes to work, she'd chase them on her broomstick. She had a crush on Orville. He was a babe. So they invented the airplane just to get away from her. Not true. Orvi had a thing for me. Yeah, a restraining order. Did not. Did two. Did not. Did two. Did not. Did two. Did not. Did two. Not. Did not. Did not. Did. So much for togetherness. Making friends with Jem? Oh, what a revolting idea. On the other hand, it might not hurt to get along with her for just one day. That way I could go along with everyone to Wowie World and make sure Harvey goes on all the rides with me. Everything would be great. So would a beanbag bed. But I don't know. Making friends with that stuck-up, conniving, spoiled Gemini Stone would take... Heap big magic? <clears throat> you said it. Lucky for you, I still have a few little tricks up my furry sleeve. <laughs> Do cats get hernias? <laughs> Let's see. Thunder, toads, here it is, togetherness. Guaranteed to bring two people close together. You just sprinkle some stuff on Jem and yourself, then say a few words. Gee, I don't know. Casting a spell on myself? Sounds kind of like taking out my own tonsils. Okay, I admit that didn't work out well, but trust me on this, just hold the pouch. Steady. A pinch of newt sweat, Susan of henbane, dragon lint, this and that, and chicken fat, voila! That's it? What do you want, David Copperfield? Just sprinkle a pinch on you and Jem, then recite this incantation. 
Bingo. Guaranteed togetherness. I don't know. Maybe I better test it out first. Not did. Not did. Did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Did not. Did not. Be as close as close can be. Fast as I say. One, two, three. Oh, come on. How about I buy you dinner at the mall? Only if I get to take you shopping, sister dear. <laughs> wow, this stuff really works. Salem, you're a genius. <laughs> Harvey, over here. Hey! Thanks for saving me a seat, Harvey. Huh? Uh, oh, uh, you're welcome. Shoes, Spellman. You'll have to give me the name of your thrift store. No problem, Jem. It's right next door to your groomers. Class, in going over yesterday's poetry writing assignments, I was pleased to discover some very promising young poets among you. One poem in particular had imagery worthy of a poet laureate. It better. I paid someone big bucks to write it for me. It was truly remarkable in its mise-en-scene, its glorification of the first person. Say, Spellman, as long as you don't have a date later, why don't you go home and write a poem all about being a loser? <laughs> <gasps> all right, that's it. It's now or never. Class, I would like you all to have a chance. Be as close as close can be. To hear this remarkable poem read by the author. Fast as I say, one, two. Gemini Stone. Me? Ah! Oh, I'm so surprised. Uh-oh. Hey, let go. I, I can't. What do you mean you can't? Spellman, if you don't let go this second. Oh. Oof. I'm telling you, I can't. We're, we're stuck together. <laughs> 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 Whoa, definitely x file worthy. Stuck together? What are you talking about? And what is this green guck anyway? Uh, must have got it on my arm from science class. I guess it was still tacky. And so are you. Gemini, we're all waiting. Sabrina Spellman, you're just trying to ruin my moment. Well, you're not going to. <laughs> Ow, quit pulling. Keep up. Thank you, Miss Drone On and On. Here, Spellman, make yourself useful. Gemini, you cutie pie, an epic love poem to myself. My eyes are as brown as the silt dark sea, cast down from the heights of destiny. This should solve it. I'm getting separation anxiety, Spellman. I want to be separated. No! Relax, will ya? I'm sure this belt, uh, stuff will just wear off by itself. It'll probably be gone by tomorrow. Great, but I have a date with Harvey today. Well, then I guess I'm coming along too. <laughs> Let me get this straight again, muchachas. You're stuck together because of bad chemistry? I don't want to talk about it. Hey, I'm starved. How about some corn dogs? Yuck! I hate corn dogs. I want cotton candy. Ew, how sticky sweet. Oh, what do you know? Whoa. Mmm. Just keep that fluffy glop away from me. Mm. Don't worry, Spellman. I'm not into sharing. Ah. Oh. All right. Won't be long now. Hey, where's Chloe? She's gonna miss the ride. She got bored waiting in line. Mm -hmm. She's into cleaning out the park. <laughs> hey. Come on, Chloe. We're going in. You go on. I'm setting free the bear. <laughs> Oh man, that was awesome! Yeah, great. 
Nothing beats cotton candy up your nose at warp 10. Sabu, let's do it again, dude. Man, it just gets better every time. Yeah, let's go again. Harvey, it's already been six times. Hey, I'm up for it, pardon. Of course, if you want to chicken out, Spellman, I guess I'd have to, too. Oh, no. Ugh. I'm up for doing this all day. Unless, of course, you're not. Me? I just love this ride. Great. Da -da -da -da. Are there two of you? If there are, we're both ready to barf. Come on, dudettes. We're going for the park record. Yeah, 26 and counting. Ugh, 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 ugh. Corn dog. Corn dog? Oh, right. We need corn dogs. I thought you hated corn dogs. Me? No. I love them. Yum. All the basic food groups on a stick. Nature's miracle. Gotta have one. But but you might miss the ride. Oh, uh, that's okay. Really, just start without us. Yeah, we could be gone for quite a while. <laughs> hey, no prob. We'll still be here, riding this monster till closing time, right, dude? <laughs> hey! Two corn dogs, please. Hey, Sabrina. Hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. See ya. Good thinking. That was close. Yeah, too close. Harvey and Pi are still looking. Better take a bite. Ugh! Try it with mustard. See, that wasn't so bad. Don't push your luck, Spellman. If I get sick, you're in the line of fire. Hey, there's Chloe. Let's go hang with her. Not till we go on my favorite ride. Come on, boys and girls. The next flurry bus is leaving now for Sappy Happy And I thought the central luge was stomach turning. Do they sing all the time? Don't they ever take a mechanical potty break? Elf, I will make you smile till the day is done. Oh, I just love this place. Oh, what's the punishment for killing an elf in this state? Ooh, the diamond mine. Either this place is making me crazy, or this stuff is getting harder. I'd better talk to Salem. Elf, I will make you smile. Come on, Jem. Let's get off this island. I need to use a payphone. Till the day is... And now the goop is getting hard, huh? Hey, I'm sure it's nothing serious. Let's see. Nope, nothing here but a big old catnip stain. Uh-oh. Warning. Oversprinkling can cause severe side effects, which will be permanent. Are you saying that Jem and I are going to be attached to each other permanently? Wait, there's more, which will be permanent if not reversed within eight hours. See your local witch or warlock immediately. Uh, I guess in this case, that's furry little me. Can you figure something out? I'll try. Just be back here before the eight hours is up. No problem. I've got plenty of time. No, you don't. You're on my dime. Hey, I'm not through. Yes, you are. Daddy says my cell phone bills are high enough. Ugh. 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 Now look what you did, Spellman. Sorry. Ow! 
Jen, we've got to get back. I mean it. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not through yet. Help out sure is fun! Listen, see how hard the scoop is turning? If we don't get it off real soon, it might turn solid and we'd be stuck together forever. But you said it would wear off. Yeah, I know. But what do I know? I just talked to uh, my uncle and he has some uh, solvent that he thinks might get it off right now. But if we wait much longer... Well, why didn't you say so? The sooner I can get free of you, the better. Elf hater. Fine, we're out of here. This way. <laughs> Wrong. I know this place better than my father's bank balance. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Been to an ATM lately? This way. I should have known better than to listen to you. This way. No, this way. <laughs> oh, great. Nice work, Spellman. You made us miss the boat. Me? Half those wrong turns were yours. I've fallen over every elf on Muddy Critty Isle. Never mind. There's a boat every 20 minutes. I can't find the antidote. What am I supposed to do? I'm only a cat. Sabrina, we brought you some Salem. Is there something wrong? Uh, nothing really. I just need a little reverse togetherness spell. Not for me, of course, but... Reverse, reverse togetherness, togetherness spell? Uh, why do you two think you've been so chummy lately? Why don't you stay a while? Elf, I will make you smile. Elf, I'll sure is fun. It's been 25 minutes. Where's smile, that boat? Shh. Just look at that little elf. No wonder he's always smiling. He just works all day alongside his teeny tiny papa. No one expects him to dress for success or be the most popular or do anything but make shoes. I know what you mean. My mom's always expected me to get straight A's, to be tops in my class. That is, when she's here. At least your folks are always around. Ferry leaves every 20 minutes. Last boat, 5 p.m. Jam, it's 5.30. That was the last boat back. Perfect. The one you made us miss. I better call my dad. He'll get us out of here. Hey! My new phone! Spellman, this is all your... Hey! This stuff is getting harder. I uh. told you, we need to get off this island and back to my house now! There's no way! It's impossible! Not if we work together. I mean, we got out of Central Luge Ride 26 with a corn dog, didn't we? Come on, give me a hand. We can use this log for a raft. <laughs> Great, a cement log. Well, something on this island has to float. Kick, pedal, kick, pedal, kick, pedal, kick, pedal. Couldn't we have tied them together face down? Kick, pedal, shark, shark! It can't hurt us, it's just mechanical. Abandon L! <laughs> Jam together, roll left! Yes! Uh, we're not out of here yet, Spellman. Kick! Pedal! <laughs> Made it! Spellman, you look awful. Hey, we're in a lot better shape than the shark. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh, no way. Sorry, but this is the only thing that'll do the job. Hey, it's either that or... Okay, on three. One, two, hey! Oh, oh, what happened to three? Spellman, you're gonna hear from my lawyer. Oh, you think I enjoyed it? Not. Hey, we're free! And I hope you two learned that the only way to accomplish anything is to put aside your differences and find out what you have in common. Well, I hate to admit it, but deep down, I kind of like those platform shoots. Yeah, well, that corn dog didn't taste quite as toxic as I thought it would, especially with mustard. That's my limo.
You want to borrow some of my clothes? And risk having someone see me in them? As if. <laughs> Guess this friendship thing is going to be harder than I thought. Oh, I don't know. I think you've made a good start. You know, this goop wasn't what freed you. The only real way to break this particular spell is for the two people to learn to cooperate with each other. What? Then why did you need us to jump in that guck? Hey, Hilda's baking a cake. She needed someone to stir the batter. <laughs> Dum -de -dum -dum -dum. Give it up, Spellman. You and Harvey are no match for me and Sluggo. Oh, yeah, Floyd? <laughs> you and Sluggo will eat our dice. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! A junk store called. They want your bike back. Go, Harvey! Go. The last lap! Go! Woohoo! Time for a little detour, Kinkle. <laughs> No way that just happened. It's okay, Harv. It's not okay. Stupid bike, we could have won. Huh? Hey! I won! You're supposed to cheer! Yep. Hooray. We'll get him next time. There won't be a next time. I quit! Come on, Harvey. When your bike's fixed, we'll go to the park and practice. That's all we need. A little practice, right? Huh? Ah. Right? <sighs> huh? Is it... Is it... real? It's just a bike, Harvey. Just a bike? You realize that if we'd had that, we would have beaten Sluglo for sure. Hey, I got an idea. Let's forget about that stupid race and go check out the Jackie Chan Twilight Show at the Megaplex. They've got Armor of God 1 and 2. Cool plan. Thanks, Sabrina. For what? Being a friend. Hi, Harvey. Spellman. You have a Mach 1? Doesn't everybody? I don't. Well, we were just on our way out. Come on, Harvey. Too bad. I wanted to ask Harvey if he'd ride my brand new Twin Star Mach 1 over to my house. My leg is hurt, and I can't ride it. Yeah, right. What do you say, Harvey? Want to go for a ride? Well, um, Sabrina and I were kind of hanging out. Go ahead, Harvey. If you'd rather ride a boring bike than see a cool double feature at the Megaplex. You mean that? Oh, thanks, Sabrina. You're the best. Huh? I'll call my chauffeur and meet you uh -huh. there. James, I'm at the Greendale Cycle Shop. I'll be the one standing next to the loser. <gasps> Law of the Jungle. The girl with the biggest allowance always wins. Hmm. Don't sweat it, Sabrina. Boys always want the coolest new thing. But we were a team. He doesn't even want to ride anymore because of that ratty old bike. I once got so sick of Ben Franklin paying more attention to his silly gadgets than me that I tied a key to his kite to shock him to his senses. Ah. Little good that did. <gasps> oh. <clears throat> Maybe if I use a little magic to fix his bike? You can't buy friendship, Sabrina. Why not? It worked for Jem. 
She showed up with that stupid bike, and Harvey was licking her boots. Don't worry. Harvey's a friend. He'll come back. He's a friend. He'll come back. What are you, a minor bird? Oh, minor bird am I? <laughs> Who's the minor bird now? You asked for it. Moo! <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Mmm, eat and see Cookie Man! Ah! Thanks for all the help! Forget them. Who says money can't buy you love? Uh, Lennon and McCartney? Poof, millionaires. Easy for them to say. Scoot your little half witch self over to the spooky jar and do that voodoo you do so well. I don't know. Maybe Harvester and Jem will invite you to their wedding. Oh. I'm a very model of a major general and vegetable and mineral. How, how do they sing so darn fast? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> How'd you get up there? Huh? Come on! With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypotenuse. Does your Uncle Quigley won't miss it? He hasn't ridden that thing since before cars had engines. Or wheels. <laughs> okay, here we go. Speed of Hermes, Feather of Shrike, make this junker the winningest bike. What do I do? Hook it to the bike. What's that mean? It's a thumbs up. I was giving you a thumbs up. But you don't have thumbs. Oh, sure. Throw that in my face. Hmm. Spells per square inch. Hey, easy on the spell pressure. I want to make sure. Here we go. Oh. Thing ever. Is it the Twin Star? Twin Star? Ha! Huh. Might as well get one with training wheels. This is Sheba. All custom, all yours. M mine? All yours! All right! Yeehaw! <laughs> huh, it almost steers itself. This is the coolest thing ever. Thanks, Sabrina. Where'd you get that piece of junk? It's not junk, Slugloaf. What did you call me? Slugloaf, your name? Oh, yeah. So, did you get a free toaster with that thing? It's the stupidest bike I've ever seen. Sheba's better than your bike. It's called Sheba? <laughs> your bike's called Sheba? What a stupid name. <laughs> Time for a five-finger face snack, Kinkle. We're not afraid of you. Yes, we are. I'm gonna pound you like, like, you know, like some kind of big pounding thing. If you're such a tough guy, why don't you two settle this like men? Because men are prone to violence? I'm thinking bike race rematch. Yeah, now that I have a killer bike, I'll whoop your wide load. Ha <laughs> ha. Are you chicken? Ooh. Chicken? Babe, I eat chicken for breakfast. Well, actually, I eat bacon for breakfast. But you know what I mean. Saturday? Saturday. High noon. A race. Just you and me. My pleasure. 
<laughs> win, 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 win. <laughs> He must really be anxious to race. Okay, now remember, if you're gonna beat Slugloaf, you gotta keep your eyes on him. He cheats. I'm ready for anything he's got. Let's practice. It's race time. Harvey, he's not afraid to run you off the road. When, when, Harvey, when, you listening? When, I said, when. you know... <coughs> Trick you. I've got my own wheels. Harvey Kinkle, you owe me an apology. How's this? Knock, knock. Who's there? I don't care. Mm. Harvey, you're acting really different. You're right. I'm acting like a winner. Brilliant, Sabrina. Cast a spell to make Harvey spend time with you, and look what happens. Aha! Uh -huh. What? Did you find out about the bike? No, but it turns out the Wicked Witch of the West was actually from Pittsburgh. <laughs> this witch's almanac is da bomb. Salem. Hey, don't get snippy with me, kid. Was it my idea to go trying to buy Harvey's affection by giving him a magic bike? Actually, yes. Ah, just testing you. Let's see. Spirit Awakening, Sleight of Hand. Score! Here it is. Sheba. Oh, no. What? It says here that uh, Sheba is a spell of intense competition, not to be used lightly, and it goes on to do, 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 forcing mortals to compete until they drop certain death, yada, yada. Ooh, they've even got the surf report for the river sticks. Yeah, right. Got it? I may be just a cat, but I think I can hold a rope. Huh? Hmm. Body, strong, will, weak. Hmm? Ah! Mm. <gasps> Doo -doo. Where are you? Say long. Huh? Sorry, a mouse. I'm just a cat. <laughs> Good luck. Hello, Sabrina. <gasps> I've been waiting for you. Well, you, you talk. Yes, you should know that. You invoked me. As I recall, you tried to purchase the boy's affection by creating a winning bike. Careful what you wish for, my careless little witchling. You just might get it. What, what do you want? I want what you designed me to want. I want to win. Harvey and I belong together. 
A boy and his bike, racing as one. But what if he breaks his neck racing? That's the nice thing about mortals. They're expendable. So are you. Once I take you apart... Bring it on, cupcake. <laughs> What do you quite lose on the newcomer? Sabrina? Huh? Oh. What are you doing to my bike? Harvey, th that bike is dangerous. You can't race it tomorrow. You're just jealous because I'm going to win. Harvey, it's changed you. Get out. But, but... We're no longer friends, Sabrina. Out. Harvey? It's horrible. Harvey won't talk to me. And if I tell anyone about the bike, they'll know I'm a witch. You woke me up at 3 in the morning to tell me this? I was dreaming about Harry Houdini in a Speedo. Woof! But I need your help. I warned you not to try to buy his friendship. But all I wanted was for him to want to ride bikes with me and not Jem. Ooh, come on in, Harry. The water's fine. Could you help me inflate my ducky? Hilda! Huh? I have an idea. The spell was intended to get Harvey to like you. Yeah, so? Well, maybe if you can make Harvey remember your friendship before the bike, maybe it'll break the spell. Really? It's worth a shot. Because if that's a real Sheba, it'll do anything to beat Slugloaf, even hurt Harvey. There he is. Buzz off. You're not on the team. Harvey, you have to remember us before Sheba. We were friends. Let's go. You're on! Win. Win. This whole haystack thing is getting pretty old. You know, they've got laws about abusing cats. Come on, we have to keep them safe. Where'd you learn to drive? Dukes of Hazard reruns? Yeehaw! Branch! Rock! Cat! This is our last chance! I'm losing my grip! Pull! Pull! Cast a spell! Cast a spell! I... 
I can't think of one, Harvey! Help! Help! Ah. Sabrina? Now we know we have to win. Turn around, loser. You're going the wrong way. Ah! Hang on, Sabrina. Are you okay? Harvey, I'm so sorry about the bike. I I thought it would make you pay more attention to me. Well, come on. You're my best friend. A stupid bike won't change that. Wait. Well, what happened to the bike? Um, all that matters is that we're okay, right? Yeah, but what happened to the bike? Hmm. Uh, look! <laughs> Here, use my bike! Slugglove's getting tired. You can still win! I'll see you on the finish line. Go! Go! Yes! Come on! Woohoo! Shall we join the celebration? Dum de dum dum dum. Mmm, scrambled pizza. <laughs> My favorite. Janitor Jim says the heat lamps make the scrambled pizza radioactive. How gullible are you, girl? That's an urban myth. Yeah, you're probably right. You want real food? Wait for the block party. I'm making my grandma Anastasia's goulash. What's the big whoop about goulash? When my grandma escaped from East Germany in the 50s, she had nothing but the clothes on her back and her goulash recipe. Really? Wow. She survived by opening a little goulash cafe. That's how she earned the money to travel to America. Cool story. I'm making my great aunt Sylvia's bon gumbo. Family legend has it the recipe was given to her by a voodoo priestess under the full moon. How about you, Brina? Got a cool family recipe for the block party? Um, well, you know. Oh, but Sabrina's making a nice big loser loaf. Ah, and here comes Jim to make our dining experience that much more miserable. My family's contribution to the block party will consist of free-range turkey, dill cornbread stuffing, roasted semi-husk corn, baby pearl onions, glazed yams, Good hour. and mashed potatoes with a garlic reduction, a Thanksgiving feast. Most apropos since I can trace my family tree back to Plymouth Rock. <gasps> Spellman's family tree, of course, is rooted in the Greendale Zoo. <laughs> Specifically, the monkey house. <laughs> oh, man, you're the monkey house, I'll show you. Let's lower the mercury here. Who cares about Gemstone's family tree? I'm gonna show Gemstone. Her family may have come over on the Mayflower, but my witch ancestors built Atlantis. I'm gonna come up with the most incredible block party recipe ever. Your ancestors really built Atlantis? Uh-huh. Matter of fact, Salem was the architect. But didn't Atlantis sink? Don't ever bring that up. He's kind of sensitive about it. Hey, 
Sabrina. You're just in time. We're making my famous bat tattooey. Say, is that hard to make? No. The real secret is bat control. Great. Maybe I could whip up a batch for the block party. For the block party? Sabrina, you can't cook witch food for mortals. You should know better. I know, I know. It was just a crazy thought. Great, great, great Aunt Morgan's recipes. So, you're planning on cooking witch food even though Hilda and Zelda specifically told you not to. Salem, don't snitch on me. Au contraire, prickly pear. I'm proud of the initiative. That's the kind of can-do spirit that got Atlantis built. Let's see what old Morgan's got for us. Attila the Hun's buns, Wicked Witch of the Yeast, Oh, this one looks interesting. Magical Upside Down Cake. A magnificent 19-tiered masterpiece guaranteed to turn taste buds upside down. This one brought the entire court of Camelot to its knees. No big trick with all that heavy armor, but the cake sure looks yummy. If you've got yourself a frown, this cake will turn it upside down. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Great, great, great Aunt Morgan, just save the block party. Come on. Now, Salem, you can have a taste. Just remember to share with everyone else. Me? Of course I'll share. I love to share. The only thing I love more than cake is sharing cake. And if anyone asks, I got the recipe from a magazine. Ah, mon chéri, what's a lovely confection like you doing in a squalid kitchen like this? Mmm, mmm, mmm. too sweet. <laughs> Suddenly, I feel like Elvis on a cheesecake bender. Simply delicious. I can't wait until the others get to try a piece. I get so much pleasure putting the happiness of others before my own. Did someone hire a maid and not tell me? Salem, have you been cleaning? Gosh, yes. It was a chore with no thumbs, but thank goodness for these two paws and an unlimited supply of elbow grease. I give up. But just what are you looking for in return? I always say a good deed is its own reward. No, you always say, tell me where you hit the catnip or I'll blackmail it out of you. Oh, pshaw, you big silly. What's your Ming doing in here? Just donating some of my worldly possessions to raise money for local charities. Gotta give till it hurts. It's like his personality has been turned upside down. And it was on the first Thanksgiving, a member of the Stone family did say, why not go all out and impress our new neighbors with a bird big enough to fight Godzilla? Hey, do you think they had donuts at the first Thanksgiving? Yum! Black and white cookies! Tja, they're yin-yang cookies. They represent the opposite forces of the universe. Day and night, man and woman, vanilla and chocolate. Pretty intense, Pi. So to my fellow students, I say... Don't feel bad about yourselves for not being able to compete with the stones. Just because we're better than you doesn't mean you're worthless. Is it just me, or is Jem pure evil? No way. Nobody's pure evil. Do you know what the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu says on the subject? I think I'm about to find out. Yeah. He says an evil person is just like a dirty window that won't let the light shine through. Sometimes all they need is a good person who's willing to do windows. Oh, yeah? 
For Jem, you need a fire hose and a three-foot squeegee. Whoa, I can, like, roll a picture that. Hey, Sabrina. Hi, Harvey. I see you didn't hold back at the old Stone family feast. What can I say? I got caught up in the legend. <laughs> so what's the scoop on your cake? Well, it's from my great, 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 great Aunt Morgan, who lived in ancient, uh, Holland. And she was the royal baker for a real famous king. Uh, King Freddy. <coughs> king Freddy liked Aunt Morgan's upside down cake so much that when the peasants were revolting, he said, let him eat cake. And then they all moved to Atlantis. And that's how the Russian Revolution began. How about that, everybody? An historical cake. Ah! Harvey, is everything all right? What's it to you, Smellman? Ha-ha, <laughs> big joke. The joke is your cake. That was the smelliest lump of crud in this whole stink fest of a block party. Harvey, how could you say something like that? Oh, no. A magnificent 19-tiered masterpiece guaranteed to turn taste buds. And personalities upside down. Eep! I don't have time to waste with you, little girl. I've got places to be. It's time to raise a little hardcore hoo-ha. You've lost your mind. I'm off to find me a real party. Harvey, wait. I've got to get rid of that cake before. Anybody eats it. Beg your pardon, Janitor Jim says the cake is radioactive. Excuse me. Sorry. Out of my way! Hi. I gotta go score some tickets to Spicy Backstreet Guys to Man. Too late. You're my broker. What do I pay you for? I don't care how many points the Dow is down. Just move those units. Ugh, I can't stand incompetence. Come on, chicas. Let's hit the mall. I know there's really nectar guys that work at the hot dog haberdashery. <laughs> Why am I eating cake, Bob? It's bad for my figure. Tell me about it, Mike. Even worse than them nasty, greasy donuts. Know what I'm really in the mood for, Bob? A nice, healthy salad? <laughs> You're reading my mind. This is out of hand. I've got to find Salem and... Oh, no! The extra cake! <laughs> Aunt Zelda! Can't talk now. Gotta run. No, you can't go! You're right. I can't go dressed like this. I'll be the laughing stock of Nero's toga party. Nero? I know what you're thinking. Caesar has the reputation. But let me tell you, once he started dating Cleopatra, he really stopped making the rounds. <laughs> tell me she didn't go to Nero's toga party. She did. Oh, dear. I begged her not to. It's a treacherous place. Hilda, I need your help. It's an emergency. I'll say it's an emergency. My sister is smack dab in the middle of the world's biggest den of debauchery and depravity. Hilda, you have to help. I have to help rescue her from the temptations of wanton decadence. Pray for me. Salem is my last hope. Salem? Why the frown? I always say you should put creases in your trousers, not your forehead. Actually, you always say... Tell me where Uncle Quigley hit the catnip, or I'll blackmail it out of you. Gosh, all hemlock. This house is simply awash with kooky funsters. Okay. The cat is officially useless. You caught me right in the middle of uplifting letter day. I'm writing cheery little letters of encouragement to the actors of canceled TV shows. They need love and support. In closing, Mr. Danza, if you ever need a shoulder to cry on, mine's extra absorbent. Sealed with a kiss. Doom, thy name is Sabrina. Ah! I suppose I deserved that. Aren't you going to use your magic and fix this mess? 
It's too big a mess. I can't do it by myself. Hold on, who said that? Jem? You, you know my secret? Yep, and the only thing standing between this town and certain doom is your magic. So let's get a move on. We've got to save Greendale. So how'd you figure out I'm really a witch, huh? It wasn't hard. After I ate some of that magical cake, everything seemed to make perfect sense. Heck, you don't even wear a disguise. Even Clark Kent had a pair of glasses. Fair enough. Hey, think I may have something here that'll reverse the spell. A magical decaf mochaccino latte guaranteed to wash away magical spells. It's worth a shot. Good thing it's decaf. This town is going to need a good night's sleep. Okay. A spell reversing decaf non-fatty. Whip up a batch of mochaccino latte. Come on, let's put it to the test. Boy, this letter writing is tougher on the tongue than it is on the paw. You need a little latte to refresh your mouth. Don't mind if I do. What am I doing here? Why does my tongue hurt? Where'd Quigley hide my stinking catnip? I'm not allowed to tell you. You'd better, or I'll blackmail it out of you. I'm so glad to hear you say that. Hey, ow! Let go, woman! You're crunching my quaff! It's not enough that you go to the seediest city in the world. You just had to buy a souvenir. Rome burned and all I got was this lousy t-shirt? <laughs> Please! It was either this or Nero fiddled while Rome burned and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. Sounds like you two could use some lattes to calm your nerves. I'll say. Nice move. Thanks. Hey, cute toga. Let's get a move on. We'll split up so we can cover more ground. See ya. All right, boys. Stretch and reach and stretch and reach. Hold it, boys. If you're going to do aerobics, you're going to need a boost of energy. Oh, we can't drink coffee. It's bad for you. Uh, this isn't coffee. It's concentrated broccoli juice. Very good for you. And it tastes awful. Hey, who's up for donuts and maybe a big brick of lard? Me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I love lard. Me a touch. Yeah. Hey, Murdoch, you're out of uniform. So Marie Saku Mini and Loud is sing cuckoo. Grow is set and blow if bed and spring the wood he knew. Sing cuckoo. Ah, we bled it after loom, not after cow we coo. Polix der tooth book to ver to Murray sing cuckoo. Cuckoo, cuckoo, well sings the cuckoo. They swig through never knew. Oh, check it out. I'm holding this thing here and I don't know what it is. Much better. Okay, all you kids, line up so I can take your lunch money. Chop, chop! At this rate, we'll have the town back to normal in no time. Uh-oh! This looks like trouble! It's Harvey! Let's go! This is all my fault. If something happens to Harvey, I'll never forgive myself. Come on, let's climb! There's no time to waste! No, it's too dangerous for you. I have to take responsibility. Wait here. Suckers, you look like ants from up here. What are you doing here, Smellman? I just thought you might need a little refreshment. Try to find a pizza place with that kind of delivery service. <laughs> I'll pass on the latte, but I do need to thank you for your crummy cake. Not quite the compliment I was looking for. Oh, it's not a compliment. That was the worst cake I ever had, but it did something to me. It did? I used to be Mr. Nice Guy. Always doing what was right and never what was fun. After one bite of your cake, I'm a new man. But Harvey, that's not what was supposed to happen. That's too bad. 
because I like it. And I think everyone else will enjoy it, too. What are you doing with that cake? I'm going to drop it into the water supply, so everyone will be just like me. No, don't do it. Here, take this. Back off, Sabrina. I mean business. At the count of three, everyone in Greendale is going upside down. One, two, three. One ice latte coming at ya. Hey. <laughs> um, um, bouncing ball and jumping bean, I need a floating trampoline. Score! What? What happened? And why am I hanging on the water tower? Uh, I'm scared of heights. Harvey, you're actually home sleeping. This is a dream. Oh, cool. <laughs> You were pretty slick yourself with the spell action. You were busting rhymes like Wyclef. I'm just glad everything's back to normal. No, Sabrina, not everything. You've got to change me back to my old self. But I like the new you. You're my friend like this. Don't you think I like having a real friend? But this isn't who I am. I can't live a lie. I'm really gonna miss you. No, you won't. The good gem is somewhere deep inside the real gem. Nobody's all bad. Sometimes we just have to try a little harder to find the good in some people than others. It's like Pi was saying. Everybody is good inside, except some people have dirty windows. Or was it good people open their windows more than evil people? Something like that. What are we doing with our lives? We scuttle around eating garbage, hiding from the light. After nuclear war, roaches are the ones that'll still be here! <laughs> oh, by the way, I'll let you in on a secret. My family didn't really come over on the Mayflower. That's a lie my father started to make my family seem special. That's funny. I had to make up a lie because my family was too special. I'll miss you. And hey, I apologize for anything I say after I turn back. Apology accepted. Friend? What am I doing hanging out under the water tower with Sabrina Spellman? I must be going crazy. Hey, Spellman. I've been thinking about the other day when I called you a loser. I just wanted to say I'm... I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Friend? What am I doing? I'm sharing a party of five moment with Sabrina Spellman. I need to increase my therapy hours. Yep, there's a little bit of good inside everybody. And why don't we do something with our lives? Learn a trade, start 